While the Browns introduced Kevin Stefanski today as their new head coach, we have been through a few of these guys. So let's get some first impressions here, Mary Kay. Uh, what did you think? Well, first of all, just from a personality standpoint, I saw the leadership. I saw confidence. He was self-assured, and I really liked a lot of that about him, including the fact that he showed a sense of humor and things like that. But just a couple of standouts for me uh, were the fact that uh, he really talked up Baker Mayfield a lot. And I think that's important. This team needs to get Baker Mayfield back on track. I think he's the guy that can do it with the system. We've seen it done here before uh, with Brian Hoyer and other guys like that playing in this type of system. So I think it'll be good for Baker as far as play calling is concerned. Uh, he is not demanding to do that. I think he probably ultimately will do it, but he's also open to suggestions. Yeah, and we've talked about it before. Whoever took this job was going to have to love the talent, love the roster, and especially love uh, Baker Mayfield. It sounded like it today. Ellis, what did you think? Uh, Stefanski didn't talk scheme a whole lot today, but when he did, I was impressed. He mentioned the marriage between the run and the pass game. And too often last year, it felt like the Browns were just calling plays to call them. There was not much of a compliment or rhythm to what was going on. In Minnesota last year, Stefanski had an offense where they were run first, but when they pass, it was in advantageous situations, putting Stephon Diggs deep or Thielen in the middle, even getting Dalvin Cook involved in the pass game. So I think Browns fans can expect to see that from Stefanski, and that's what he's saying when he's talking about the marriage between the two. They're related, and that's how you maximize an offense in the modern-day NFL. And we didn't have that in Cleveland last year, and I think that's what Stefanski's going to bring here now. And, and for me, it was just about, you know, there wasn't a lot of bravado today. There wasn't a lot of, you know, if you don't wear orange or brown, you don't matter. He kind of stuck with the, uh, the buzzwords of the offseason alignment. Uh, he talked about how he wants to employ analytics and, and how he buys into all of that. And I think that's what stood out now. We'll see what happens in September. We'll see what happens if they go on a little losing streak here uh, at some point during the season. But uh, as of right now, he was preaching the alignment message today, which is kind of what you expected. Of course, we'll cover the whole thing today at cleveland.com slash browns. That's also where you can check out Football Insider. Just click on the banner at the top of the page for more info.